I have the pleasure to welcome with us, live from Beijing, our great friend, Chris Fu. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, everyone. Hi, from Beijing. It's very good to be with, with you all. Uh, how's everyone doing? Well, it's a pleasure for us. I mean, Happy New Year. We are just in between the uh, New Year and the Chinese New Year, so I think it's the best time to wish you uh, an, an Happy New Year. Uh, 2021 yeah. uh, should be really uh, great and much better than 2020, which was constrained. My first wish is uh, else obviously to you and uh, happiness and success and so tell me because it's a while uh, on the artistic uh, part of your uh, career uh, what's new what are you doing those days uh, i mean I recently i've been uh, working on my new album so uh looking forward to that release and then uh yeah and then uh racing you know is, a, is my new new uh new hobby so uh, everything is, is is pretty good and uh how are you doing? I mean, are you busy with the uh, new product launch, launch and everything? Well, of course, you know, the, the whole team is in uh, the manufacturers in, uh, in Switzerland uh, for the final preparation. It's uh, really a very important time of the year. We are the first brand, actually, I mean, to present novelties in uh, 2021, the same way we did last year from Dubai uh, for 2020. And obviously, it's a great advantage for our retail partners as much as for the media to be uh, aware as early as possible of what Bulgari would propose to really make that watch market very, very dynamic. Uh, by the way, you never visited our factory yet. No, see, I, it sounds very exciting to me. And I, you know, I always wanted to go. I always been wanting to go. So, uh, uh, I mean, I, let, let's hope, you know, sometime soon that I can get to go for a visit and then uh, definitely you can, you, can, you can show me and I can actually be there in person to witness how everything is done at Bulgari. So, yeah, I mean, uh, tell me about the factory. I mean, how is it organized at, at Bulgari? Well, actually, it's quite thrilling because we talk about 400 people. I mean, uh, all uh, craftsmen and women because it's very much about uh, manual uh, added value. Uh, we have three different locations. Uh, one is dedicated to the movements uh, in Le Sentier. The other one, uh, which is brand new in saint léger is dedicated to the, the cases and the dials. And the third one, Le Châtel, is dedicated to put everything together to turn them yeah. into uh, the final uh, finished product, which we very happily send to China, to America, uh, and this is the final stage. And uh, all together, we talk about 40 different skills and craftsmanship different excellencies to eventually uh, put together anywhere between 300 to 1200 components into uh, a, a tiny watch. So it's, uh, it's really spectacular. Uh, and each watch development, as you can understand from those so many expertise and components, is quite a daunting task. But uh, recently we've been very successful to, to bring to the market uh, very striking ones, including uh, obviously the Octo Finissimo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know everything is uh, it's, it's, it's quite astonishing for me. I mean, how, how thin it is, how the re world record and everything. And I love the, the Octopanismo, you know, as, and I'm pretty familiar with it because I have, you know, a couple in my own collection and I've been always looking forward to see, you know, what's coming up next. So, I mean, the, the unique shape really reminds me of like Roman architecture. Everything about it is super special. And I think it's uh, in the ultra thin design of it. So uh, tell me like, like this year, the, the new Octo, I mean, I'm sure there's no exception that it's going to be amazing, yes. Well, I mean, definitely. I mean, initially, you know, we ventured first into watches. And uh, the first time, I mean, we, we had the pleasure, I mean, to work together it was about, I mean, yeah. the uh, automatic watch, world record, thinnest ever. Uh, two years back, we have allowed the, the first uh, chronograph, uh, the thinnest ever uh, self winning chronograph. Then last year, we have added a tourbillon inside, so new world record. And this year, and I'm sure you got it uh, in Beijing, uh, and uh, you have a little surprise on your wrist, but we have the steel version of that chronograph, steel uh, in the luxury watch market together with gold, is the mainstream uh, segment of the market. And so moving from titanium, which obviously remains a kind of flagship, to steel uh, will allow the uh, Finissimo chronograph to reach a much broader uh, expert public. So I'm very happy that you are the very first one to wear it. Well, now I cannot wait to show everyone what I have on my wrist, everyone. Oh, I'm yeah, jealous. So I have, yes, I want to show everyone the new Octofinismo Chronograph GMT Steel. This is on my wrist right now. 
And I, I have to be honest, I cannot resist wearing this. It's, it just looks absolutely stunning. And I think everyone is going to love it. I mean, I really don't think video does it justice, but in person, it's amazing. Well, you make me very jealous because you got actually the, the, the first, I mean, we got some prototypes obviously before and, but you got the very first very uh, one crafted, I mean, for, for sales. So I hope yeah. that uh, when I return to Switzerland, uh, I will get the second one <laughs> <laughs> so that I can be, I can be a modest ambassador. Obviously, I don't have your fame and awareness, but I want to, I mean, uh, to be proud of wearing the, the, the Octo uh, Finissimo and it looks really so great on you. Uh, it's, it's a perfect match, I mean. Uh, it's, uh, it's another record breaker. I mean, uh, it's a bit thicker than the titanium uh, because we want it to be waterproof. We want it to be even more shock resistant. And at the same time, this brings a better aesthetical balance. So it's really, to me, I mean, the pinnacle of Octo Finissimo design. So really, Chris, uh, thank you for, uh, well, your love for Bulgari, uh, your enthusiasm. Uh, you're pioneering with the steel chronograph. I think it's very important that uh, people can see how stylish it is on such, I mean, a stylish gentleman uh, that, that you are. And I can't wait to introduce you uh, into our manufacturing facilities. Thank you, Cheche, and see you very thank soon. Thank you very much. Good, goodbye, Chris. Yeah, yeah goodbye. thank you for your explanation. I hope to see you soon or I will visit you in the manufacturing facility. Definitely, definitely. Deal done. Yeah. Okay, great day. Thank you.